that was fun. Um, and Osiwa was a football team. Um, felt like we had some opportunities to turn the game around. You know, uh, could have recovered a fumble, uh, got a field goal, got on the board, um, just to get something going. And it just wasn't wasn't our night for that. Um, and then level got in the red zone a couple times. He did not execute. And um, when you do that against a really good football team, that's the end result. You mentioned the red zone. Uh, you've been shut out of touchdowns eight straight quarters now. Yeah. How much concern do you have about the offense? Uh, it's, it is concerning. I mean, schematically speaking, from the, uh, the play calling perspective, it's, it's there. It's just missed opportunities. Um, you know, uh, I think we had uh, maybe a drop touchdown or um, it's not, uh, we had a missed block here or there. Um, so this is, uh, again, uh, a part of the process of figuring out who we are. Um, and uh, as ugly as it may look, we just got to continue to preach what we've been preaching and continue to chop wood and, you know, um, we do a better job of coaching and, you know, get some, some other recruits in here and um, build it out. And that's it. That's what we have to do. Um, with uh, where the team currently stands in, in the standings and two games left, what is uh, the message that you're preaching to your team? Oh, we're not quitting at all. I mean, that's, you know, we're still in the process of building and uh, defining our identity. You know, we're, we're just not there yet in terms of competing for a championship. And, and, and that's okay. But what we have to continue to do is to define our identity and continue to show up and, and not quit, not feel like um, we want to wait till next year because next year never comes. All you, all you have is now in the present moment. And uh, that's what we have to do. You know, that team that we saw tonight, that's what we want to aspire to be. You know, we want to be able to run the football effectively. Um, and to be able to handle adversity accordingly. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it's just not going to, um, it's just not going to happen overnight. This is not a deal where, you know, just, you can just bring in a couple of new guys and you win championships. You know, it's the ebbs and flows. And, and, that's, and that's the bottom line. It's going to take, you know, some learning pains, so it take a couple of recruiting classes to to get where we need to go. And um, we're learning how to do that. And unfortunately, through these losses, that's what we have to do. This is where we are. This is who we are at this point in time. So it's my goal to, is to change that, is to get this bitter taste out of our mouth and understand that, hey, we got two more opportunities. We want to continue to, to, to define our journey. We want to find the guys who want to play. We want to find the coaches that, that still want to coach and who want to figure it out. You, you mentioned two more opportunities. Are you kind of glad that you, you still got a, one of the top echelon teams out there where if you that is an opportunity for you to win and finish the season on an uptick? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still there. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't feel that way now. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you know, I don't know what the result was for, for UT Martin. But uh, again, you know, we'll have an opportunity to play an upper echelon team to compete. And again, those opportunities that we're here today, we're here next week. And we've got to, to learn to execute in those situations. Um, and, and that's it. I mean, and, and finish off the season strong and go into the off season, make our rooms and get back to the drawing board, continue to lay this foundation down. Good. All right. Thank you. Good. Good.